Welcome to a new video on the Design Studio by the Solar Lab. Today we will learn how to design a carport structure. So let's begin. Start by drawing the structure. For that, select Polygon from the Models menu and let's draw the legs first. Draw a simple polygon on the ground. Let's give it 0.5 meters. On the right hand side, give it a height of 3.5 meters and let's change the tilt to 4 and an azimuth facing towards south direction and hit update. Let's draw the second leg. For that, you can use the copy and paste functions for that. Use Ctrl C plus Ctrl V and get it done. Don't forget to change the azimuth to the opposite direction. Hit update. We need legs at the opposite side, so that should be parallel. For this, let's copy and paste the same polygon and then increase its length to the desired value. Here, I'm going to give it like 20 meters. Go to the bottom left, layers, and you can choose to show or hide arc and other dimension. Copy and paste the leg from the other side right now. Don't forget to change the azimuth of the second one because you have copied only one of the legs. Now delete the polygon which was used as a marker. Let's go ahead and draw the shed. Hit shortcut key P on your keyboard for polygon. Let's start from the side. You can also hit the tab key while drawing to mention the exact distance. On the right hand side, change the height, tilt and azimuth values. Make sure this time you mark it placeable because you want to place panels on it. Let's place panels now. On the right hand side, hit the fill face button to place panels automatically. You can check the maximum capacity by changing the orientation. For example, in portrait and landscape modes. Here, both of them are the same. We can also increase the length to increase the capacity. So let's put in like a 22 panel numbers and the size increases. Let's add walkways now. Press W on your keyboard to access it. Or you can select it from the models menu. Click on one corner and drag to the other. Zoom in for a better view and change the position. You can also change the dimension of the walkway. Let's change it. For the other side of the shed, we can use the copy and paste functions. Use Ctrl C and Ctrl V. Also, the Design Studio by Solar Labs has the mirror feature which allows you to mirror the image exactly. So, while pasting, press M and then and select the side you want to be mirrored. Now that's done. Let's view this in 3D. For that, double tap 3 on your keyboard. Looks good. Now let's go ahead and see the heat map for the structure. On the left hand side select refresh from heat map menu. It's good. Let's go ahead and optimize the system. Select solar access feature from the sidebar. Click on one table, select subarray and on the right hand side select optimize. As you can see this is 100% so there is no optimization necessary. For the other side table Subarray optimize. It's 94. So using this slider, you can delete panels. Let's add inverters now. You can select them either by its make or size. Add in the quantity which is required and click add. And finally, let's save the project. Thank you for joining. Have a nice day.